So, somebody's offered up these boulders. I'm going to call them boulders. Limestone. They'll do just fine in our uh, pond. My biggest challenge is going to be lifting them. But I got my crane. So, let's see what we can do. Yeah, that's got to go right here. If it doesn't go right there, then we're going to have a problem. Because it's not going to want to... The balance is going to be all off on the trailer. In a typical fashion, what I've done is save the biggest, heaviest rock for last. I couldn't actually push it on the trailer. So we just jacked it up in place and backed the trailer into it. But you can see here, I'm gonna have to jack up the trailer. Cause I'll never get the, I'll, I'll never get the crane out. So here we go. I'm gonna just, just, I'm loading up. I'm done. We got, uh, we got three huge rocks in here. Uh, I'm gonna step on it. A little wee bit of bounce means we're going to have to go very, 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 very slow on the way back. I really think this is the single largest rock, zzz, plural, that I've taken in one, one sitting. This one I'm standing on is... Uh, Looks like it's almost four feet long, two feet wide, two feet high. That's uh, that's huge. Yeah. And I'm looking around the yard at the rocks that I have picked up, and uh, no, none of them. None of them even compare for the size. Don't know how this is going to work. This great big rock weighed down the trailer immensely. So much so that I cannot get the uh, crane underneath the back end of the trailer. My hope is that I can nudge it. We'll see what I mean until we can actually pick it up. So if you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I'm posting something new. I'm going to leave the strap on there so I don't really need the bricks underneath. But I'm putting them there just in case uh, things go a little snaky and i got to run a chain or something. Because this sucker here is probably close to a ton. I really want to get the jack or the crane pulling it more in the center. So I'm going to pull this arm back. The way this. So pulling the arm back, we're going to be able to take more weight over a shorter distance.
And I just want it there because I want the center of gravity evenly dispersed between the four wheels so that when I'm pulling it around, it's not all front end heavy or back end heavy. Closer to the center, the easier it's going to be for me to move this thing. So I'm on the right track. I could try and move it like it is now, but with this much weight, it's going to be swinging back and forth. And every time it swings, it's going to do some flexing on the uh, frame. I don't want to do that because eventually it's going to break. So I'm going to jack it up some more, turn it 90 degrees and lightly rest it on the frame so that it's not going to shake around as I'm trying to move it. Hopefully this 145 pounds will be able to move this 2265 pounds. That's my best guess on that. Yes. If the mountain won't come to Rini, Rini must go to the mountain. Go back to this far back pin. Now when I jack it up, hopefully it's going to swing into the middle. It'll take some of the weight off the front tires. This also means that when I'm offloading it, I have to do the whole thing in reverse. I'm going to jack that a bit because I want about half the weight on here on the crane. Because if the weight, half the weight here is on the crane, it goes all the way back to here. And it'll transfer that weight to the back wheels. That means that the front has got less force on it. really want to take this rock and I want to put it way over there. Wish me luck. Well, it looks like we have enough rocks. We can get to work on our pond as soon as the weather dries up a little bit. Stay tuned, keep updated. And leave a comment, let me know what you think about the pond and about anything else that we do here at Odd Jobs. <laughs>